Hey, I finally got in touch with Junebug um, late last night. Uh, he got dragged into work at the last minute, so um, today we're going to be uh, doing all that that I mentioned uh, today here, this afternoon. We're going to be going live on my channel uh, at about 2 p.m. Central Time, 3 p.m. Eastern. And I guess soon afterwards, going to go live on both our channels, either following or later on today. So definitely come and check that out. I want to say um, rest in peace to Mr. Pete Way. He was a former bass player for the band UFO. UFO had a lot of major influences on bands like Iron Maiden, Metallica, Def Leppard. They recorded a lot of albums like Lights Out, Strangers in the Night, um, Force It. UFO was known in the 70s by their uh, guitar player Michael Schenker, who um, before the end of the 1970s would depart from the group himself clean. I understand he was going through a lot of drug issues. He would later put together his own band, uh, the Michael Schenker Group, and I guess Pete Way would be one of the members joining later on in their career. Pete also was involved briefly in the group Fast Way, which was him and Facity Clark the former Motorhead guitarist who sadly also passed away a couple years back. But they're doing a new version of Fast Way up in rock and roll heaven right now. He was also involved in his group called Wasted, which uh, released a couple albums and toured uh, during the later part of the 1980s, hoping for bands like uh, Iron Maiden. And um, he also had a group of his own called the Pete Way Band for a good long while there. Now this follows two other ex-members of UFO who have passed away. Paul Chapman, one of the guitarists, died a couple months prior to this. And I guess a couple years back they lost their keyboard player and guitarist Paul Raymond. So uh, singer Phil Mogg, UFO's frontman, and uh, whoever he has left, I guess. I'm not too keen on UFO's lineup there. I just only know Schenker and Way. I wasn't really that big on UFO. I only knew a couple songs from them, and that's about it. But I feel bad that I didn't have any of uh, their albums there. So my bad for that, folks. But as an honor because they were played such a big part in the uh, rock and roll that we uh, loved in the 1980s and now, including the bands that I mentioned, UFO do deserve their recognition. They're also uh, cited as Eddie Trunk's favorite group there. So once again, rest in peace to ex-UFO bassist Pete Way. Condolence has been uh, pouring in from both Bill Ward and Giza Butler from Black Sabbath, members of Def Leppard as well, and I guess members of course Iron Maiden. So rest in peace Pete Way, we thank you and your boys for influencing the bands that we love today. Thank you. I'm Dr. Earl, thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments below and hit that like button. Always remember to force it, baby.